What we're going to show you now is how to install a Bison shallow well hand pump into your existing system. Keeping in mind that a shallow well pump can only be used if your static water level is 25 feet or less. And that's the top of the water to the base of the pump. So keep that in mind. You want to know what that static water level is from the top of the water in your casing to the base of the shallow well pump where it's being installed in your basement. So this is a typical installation. This is your storage tank that you would have in your basement. This is the one inch black plastic pipe. Sometimes it's inch and a quarter. This is the pipe coming from your electric submersible to this tank tee. So the next, the first step, you want to make sure, first of all, the electricity is turned off to your electric submersible pump. And we want to drain the pressure off this system. We want to drain the water out of this tank before we cut this line. So just hook a, this is a washing machine hose. You can use a garden hose. Connect it to the drain valve on, at the base of the T. Take it to a drain, take it outside, open up the valve, and it will drain all the pressure off the system. So now we can work on this line. Now after all the pressure is drained off the system, we can cut our T arrangement into this black plastic pipe. So what you're going to do, take a hacksaw, hacksaw works very well. We're going to cut the black pipe that goes to your electric submersible. We'd have a small piece of pipe that would connect between the two. These insert adapters, these are all brass insert adapters. We recommend that you use brass and, and not plastic. All these fittings can be purchased from Bison Pumps if you so desire. So that's going to connect just like this. We're going to reconnect the line that goes to your electric submersible. And then we're going to have another piece of black plastic that comes at the outlet or at the branch of our T and it's going to go to the base of the shallow well pump. Notice that in the base of the pump there's a two inch female pipe thread. We can bush that down from two inch to one inch. Screw that into the, into the pipe or into the base of the pump. Then this is going to be connected from here to your one inch black plastic. The pump will mount on a stand that you may fabricate in your basement. Uh, it may be mounted on a countertop so that you're pumping into a kitchen sink. Whatever your particular installation may require. Keeping in mind that whatever this stand is, we're going to drill a hole in the top of your tabletop so we can set this down and, and connect our pipe to the underside of the hand pump. Once you get this all connected, you're ready to pump water. Okay, now that we have our pi piping all connected to the base of the uh, shallow well hand pump, now we're going to pump some water. Keeping in mind we still have the electricity turned off. We've got our water all drained out of the tank. So you take your T arrangement. We're going to close the ball valve at the outlet of the T. The, close the ball valve that's supplying the tank. We're going to open the ball valve that's going to supply water to the hand pump. Then you just start pumping the handle of the bison hand pump and you will pull water through the submersible, through this piping, in the pump and out the spout. Now, if you have electricity and you're not using the hand pump, then we're going to leave the quarter turn ball valve turned off that goes to the hand pump. We'll leave the quarter turn ball valve that goes to your expansion tank in the open position. So in normal operation, this is what the valves would look like. Valve to the pump closed, valve to the expansion tank open. You lose electricity, we're going to close the valve to the tank, open the valve to the hand pump, and start pumping water. One of the added features of all of our Bison hand pumps is they are actually pressure pumps. So with the Bison shallow well hand pump, we can actually pressurize your expansion tank by hand pumping water. And to do that, you would take a typical garden hose. It's always best, this is a black garden hose, it's a washing machine hose. It's always best to use a white or a clear hose if you have one because you can get different tastes if you use a green hose or a black hose your water can taste a little bit funny just because of the hose so it's a good idea to use a clear or a white hose and we're going to connect the hose to the outlet of the spout of the hand pump and we have notice the position of our valves we have the valve going to the tank closed the valve going to the hand pump open now we can simply start pumping our hand pump and it's going to pump water through the hose into the expansion tank and we're going to pressurize this expansion tank up to 40-50 pounds of water pressure. Now you can go upstairs and flush a toilet, take a shower, run water just like you have electricity. 
As you use the water, the pressure will drop. You'll have to go back down to the hand pump, repump the pressure, build the pressure back up in the tank, and start over again.